Bowl season is upon us. Thank you for joining us on Inside the Coach's Corner presented by Uptown Social, Everett German and the head coach, Earl Grant. And coach, somehow, someway, we've managed to get through the regular season. Uh, had a couple of bumps, but all in all, regular season's done. Coach, when you look back at the regular season, what are some of the takeaways uh, of your team that you're really excited about as we go into uh, the postseason? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm very excited. Um, obviously, I'm excited that we were able to get to this point, uh, you know, be able to get through the season with all our guys still intact. And we did have some different situations with COVID where we had pause. You know, we had to pause a couple games or we had to cancel games. We had to have some quarantines and things of that nature. But for the most part, uh, we didn't have a lot of issues uh, health wise. So that's been something to be very thankful about. I mean, I think another thing that jumps out to me with seven new players, man, just we found some chemistry as we continue to go through the year. I thought this team would need some time to develop. But, you know, there's certain guys on our team that's really starting to step up now uh, here going into March. And typically you want your team to be uh, developing late in the season. And so I think our team chemistry and, and our bench, you know, being so productive, uh, having more depth coming down the final stretch of the season is something that I'm very excited about. After a challenging non-conference season, coaches always want to be playing their best basketball this time of the year. Do you feel like you and your basketball team playing their best basketball going into March? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know if we're playing our best basketball, but we're playing pretty good. We won four out of five, you know, had a couple of ugly ones uh, that we won, you know, but sometimes they say really good teams have to learn how to win an ugly game. So uh, that's what I've heard and I believe it. So, you know, winning four out of five is something that I give the players a lot of credit for. I think that's the reason why we were able to get the three seed. Uh, we had a lot of work to do, uh, had some bumps and bruises along the way, a couple injuries, took us a while to adjust to it. But, you know, after that first pause we had, we came back strong and we won those four out of five games and just happy that we are, are able to be in this position with a first round bye, playing on Sunday night uh, in the third seed. We'll take it. All right, so as Coach mentioned, Charleston finished third in the CAA, and we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we'll take a look at the final standings uh, of the CAA uh, this challenging uh, basketball season. You're inside the Coach's Corner, and we'll be right back. And welcome back inside the Coach's Corner, presented by Uptown Social, Everett German and head coach Earl Grant here at uh, TD Arena. All right, coach, as we take a look, the final CAA standings, uh, they're done. As we see James Madison and Northeastern both on top with a record of eight and two, Charleston six and four, uh, Hofstra eight and six, then Delaware, Drexel, uh, Wayman Mary, Elon, Towson, and UNCW. And coach, as we've been saying all season long, win percentage, is what really determined uh, when there was a tiebreaker situation. As you see, some teams played 10 games, some played 14, some played seven. Just a very balanced league this year, it feels like, from top to bottom. Yeah, the league is always pretty uh, competitive, you know, from one through 10. Um, every year, there's really good teams in the league. Everybody have really good players, good coaches. So there's always challenges, regardless of who you're playing. You know, I think the one thing that really jumped out to me is, you know, every team couldn't play each other. We couldn't, we didn't play James Madison. Obviously, we were able to play Northeastern. Both games came down to one possession. Um, so I think, you know, we didn't play UNC Wilmington. You know, so as certain teams, we just didn't get a chance to play. And I think that goes for every team in the conference. But at this point, you know, you got a new season. Uh, you got a three game season coming up. That's the most important thing as we head into the CAA tournament. Just being excited and fired up get into that tournament so we can go and play inspired basketball. You know, in the past, there was always that one or two team that maybe was the favorite, but literally this year, especially when you look at the top seed JMU, no Matt Lewis, he's done for the year. 
this tournament's going to be wide open. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a wide open, it's a wide open opportunity for anybody going into the tournament. Like I said, you know, it's a three game season. Um, it's the third season. We always try to break it down, non-conference, regular conference season, and then obviously the conference tournament. So uh, always excited about this time of year. Uh, you know, I think our guys will be fired up. We're very experienced. I think the guys are hungry. I uh, had a couple uh, shutdowns, so we're coming off a of pause now. Hopefully we'll get all of our guys back, some of them starting tomorrow and Wednesday, and then the remainder of the team towards the end of the week so we can practice a couple times before going up to, uh, to Harrisonburg. But we have been practicing with, with our eight guys, and uh, we, we're hoping to add the other guys to us in the next few days so we can find some rhythm you know, to get to this tournament. So as you heard Coach say, the tournament obviously right around the corner. We'll take our final break, and when we come back, we'll take a look at the CAA tournament, a very, uh, well, op opponent that we're very familiar with in the Drexel Dragons. So we'll take a break. More of the Coach's Corner when we come back. This one is There was a mess. I wiped up a mess. Yeah, you... Where is the bus? Never mind, I found it! When game day is a go, there's a Bud Light there. The CAA tournament is now here. Charleston getting ready to battle the Drexel Dragons. Uh, Everett German and uh, the head coach, Earl Grant coach, two uh, wins earlier this year against Dra Drexel. Both games very similar. We trailed at the half, got off the slow starts, able to, well, come back in the second half with strong offensive and defensive performances to get the win. Of course, the first game, Coach Zepp Jasper hits the three free throws with .6 seconds left to get the win. And then that Sunday game, that's when Brandon Tucker just went absolutely crazy. Coach, it's Drexel. It's going to be a tough one, but I'm excited to be there and ready to play. Yeah, for whatever reason, you know, we uh, pretty much every year we have Drexel in the CAA tournament. And, um, you know, certainly Zach Spike is doing a good job. Uh, got a good team, got good players. Uh, they've been playing well. Always a battle, always a challenge. You know, so we got this week to really try to get prepared, uh, lock in and focus on the things we need to do put our, to put ourselves in a position to be successful. So we're excited about that. And, uh, you know, we got all week to do it, but it definitely will be a challenge. Coach, I'm not privy to be in the coaches' meetings that you and your staff will have, but it's safe to say I kind of think two names or two words will be said a lot. That being James Butler, obviously rebounding, keeping him off the glass. That will be a, a main task for Charleston. Yeah, yeah, they got they got a good team. You know, uh, James Butler's an older guy, been around forever, and uh, very good rebounder, good around the basket. Uh, and then you got Cam Winter, it's a really good guard, but they got a good supporting cast around them, you know, T.J. Bickerstaff and some other young guys, um, you know, they can shoot the ball. So, so they got some good pieces. Uh, certainly we look forward to the matchup, um, come up with a great plan this week and just be ready, just be fired up and ready to go uh, at the end of the week. The one thing that really excites me, Coach, is we've seen a different Zepp Jasper over the past uh, five games. In the two games against Zepp, he mostly was of more of importance on the defensive end against Cameron Winter offensively not his best games but the way he's been playing lately coach safe to say uh, we'll see more from Zepp Jasper uh, this weekend yeah he's played with great pace uh, great uh, confidence you know uh, scored the ball really well for us running the team getting assists uh, as well as defending so he's been at a high level and um, nice to see that from him he's a four-year guy uh, you know redshirt junior that's been around forever that's, that understands our league understands battles and so we need him to continue to play with that confidence as we go into a very important part of the season. Coach, you can't control it, but just your thoughts. Man, a 930 tip, that, that's a late start uh, for, the, for this basketball game. Yeah, it's late. I mean, you know, um, but I'm just happy that, you know, again, we, we get a first round bye. Uh, we know our opponent. We know the game's going to be late. You know, so it's late for the both of us. And you just got to make sure you get good rest throughout the day and, and be ready to go. You know, it's a basketball game. Everybody should be fired up. And so uh, we're just excited that we get an opportunity, you know, to play in a tournament for something, something that's important, as well as understanding we got the first round by. So I think the guys will be fired up and ready to go.
All right, so as Coach just mentioned, Sunday night, this Sunday night, 9.30 is the tip-off. I'll be on the air at 9 o'clock with the pregame show. Of course, you can catch all of the action uh, on 94.7 FM, also 9.10 AM, and charlestonsportsradio.com uh, to catch the game uh, coming up this Sunday night. Also, I believe Sunday's game will be uh, on Flow Sports, so if you're looking to catch it as the Cougars try to, uh, well, you got to win three and three, but you can't win win three and three unless you win on Sunday and that'll be the first task as the Cougars will battle the Drexel uh, Drexel Dragons. Well for Earl Grant I say uh, thank you for watching uh, Inside the Coach's Corner and we'll see you next time.